joining me down here at Conway Golf Club. We've just had a little bit of rain, hopefully that'll soon go away and the normal sunny conditions will return. Um, if you have joined me, then like I said, thank you because there's a lot of these videos going around right now and I appreciate um, you. Know, maybe it's a bit of overload at times. What I'm gonna do is look at a three, five and seven wood. Yeah, a three, five and a seven wood because I reckon within this range, there is a secret weapon or two. Let me tell you some more. Right, this is a three wood, 14 and a half degrees loft, quite strong lofted, but again, we've seen before, I've got the predecessor, the 410, I've been playing with it last year. It's incredibly high launching ball, Stephen, even at 14 and a half degrees with that CG way back. Well, that's my Sunday best. It's out that bunker, which was the line. Help if we had the wrapper off. So five wood max. Wow. That is position A, and the one thing I've found with these fairway woods in general is the, at the ball flight is incredible. Again, I've spoke about in last year's uh, G410, this sort of shallow face, but sort of fairly large body with that CG and that weight placement right at the very back means that the ball launch is incredibly high, but it's not a high floaty flight, the thing's going forward. It really is, and I think I'll mention a few times within this video, the five and the seven wood options are a powerful tool within this ping range. And uh, I think so many average golfers would benefit from it. And, and I put myself in that category completely. Okay, so this time it's the uh, seven wood. Is this the perfect fairway finder for average golfers? Oh my word. Well, again, we're playing a little bit downwind. The seven, uh, the loft of the seven wood just gives it that extra ball flight. And uh, that's absolutely powering down there. The slightly shorter shaft again, gives you that control over the club head and confidence. And again, I'm still saying that same thing, five and seven wood in this range are the secret weapons, I think. Great alignment aid on the new uh, ping range, uh, right throughout the fairways, driver, hybrids. Frames it really nice. Ah, do you know what? That is absolutely right down the middle for diddle. Well, I really did uh, get hit a great three wood off the tee here and um, it will be second shot into a par five and naturally distance wise, we've still got over 200 to go. It says three wood in terms of where what I need to be playing, but confidence is low, so I'm reaching for what I think is that secret weapon. And honestly, I think you could go to the five or the seven, um, but the idea is, like I said, just um, that, that extra loft just gives you that confidence. You can pick this one up off a tight lie. Maybe when you're not feeling the three wood. Let's see if that is the case. That's just absolutely. I think I've said it all, to be honest with you. Right, time for some comments down below. Uh, I'd be interested to how many of you are considering buying these Ping uh, G425 fairways. What are your thoughts on them from what you've seen so far? Are they on the top of the wish list? Because uh, to be fair, I mean, Ping produce a very user friendly uh, set of products. They will appeal to the masses. And I've got a feeling they've got a big seller on their hands. So uh, yeah, if you fancy these, then uh, I'd get there quick because I reckon they're going to sell a few. They've got a good product on their hands here yet again. Now there is of course one test like no other, and that is, can you find a fairway on 17? And if you can do that, then this club really has a chance of making it into the bag. Tightest fairway you'll ever find, and it's a 17. It's a card wrecker, right. We know the line, 
at the yellow gorse that tips out into the fairway. A little bit of fade. Well, it wasn't the best of shots, but it's done exactly what I wanted, and that is in the middle of the fairway. You can probably see it bouncing down there. It wasn't the best. If you try with a five. Right, five wood up next. Like I say, got away with that one with the three wood. Right, we're going to aim slightly more down the middle here. Come on. Oh, that's a ball. That's the ball. Difference in ball flight is uh, incredible. A little bit too much cut on it. It's hung onto that right hand side, but again, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, it's, a, it's again, it's this mental thing, but having that little bit more loft tends to give you that uh, bit more confidence. I'm talking, I'm thinking, should we go for the three out of three and get the seven one out the bag? The idea of hitting the fairway three times running on 17. Well, we shall see. If I hit three, I could well retire and these three clubs will go in the bag. Come on, and don't let me down. A hat trick of fairways on the 17th. It's never been known before. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. That's it. This tee sorts out the men from the boys, and believe me, I normally walk off here like a four-year-old. I'm walking back a bit dejected, because I've got to be honest with you, I only found two of the three balls. The excitement is soon gone. I don't know which one it was that, uh, I didn't record which ball was which, but anyway. What it does mean is uh, I can't retire. Well, it's not quite the end of the video. For those of you who've stuck around for the dry ball data, I've got it for what is the, uh, what have we got? Three, uh, five and seven wood. I've got dry ball data on each of them. I'll get too quickly. But the other things that I didn't mention during the video, I think first of all, they look superb. I think the G425 range from Ping has been absolutely brilliant in terms of on the eye. I love how shallow each of these are. And again, that's something very personal to me, but I love the way they sit behind the ball. Um, that weight is situated way back, like I said, all about getting this ball airborne. And the other point to mention is, I suppose the amount, again, and variety there is available from Ping in these uh, models, in the fairway woods. Um, also, you can see that vari a variety of, uh, of different lofts. And once again, if you watch the hybrid video a couple of days ago, that blend between going from your five, your six iron, for whatever it is you choose to make the swap over into hybrids and fairways. I don't think anybody's doing it better than what Ping are with this range right now. Uh, and again, adjustability in each of one of those heads in terms of increasing or decreasing loft. And that uh, you being able to gap, gap your bag is, uh, it's never been easier, I don't think, with this range. It's hard, like I said, to be critical in any way. I thought they were superb. I was playing a half-decent golf, so I mean, that always helps. But I test them in the range uh, at a later date. And like I said, really positive. I can't say much negative about these products at all. In fact, I can't think of anything negative, to be honest with you. Um, I'll very quickly throw this data up for you because this video has gone on uh, a little while. Uh, if you see from the bottom, we go into, uh, we go seven, five, and then three wood, and obviously you can see those distances change. Have a look through, through that data. You can see how the, the launch angle changes um, considerably, although the, the odd number that gets thrown up there is that middle number with an average launch of 10 degrees on the five wood. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but the spin is all relevant. Um, the carry distance is all fairly relevant. They were just it just depends what you're looking for, what yardage you're looking to fill. But for me, it was the seven wood. I did a video earlier on in terms of when this G425 came out. Um, as I seen it as again, such a versatile club. It's obviously got the shorter shaft out of these three. The loft is a big help for many average golfers. It was just the most, you could play it off the tee, you play it long par fours into par fives into long par threes. Like I said, it just offers the most versatility to put in the bag, but it's only gonna work for you if it fits in that yardage, if it fits in your current setup uh, as to where you like to put the bag together. But the overall opinion is an incredible range from uh, Ping, I think, for the average golfer. It really meets every requirement that most of us uh, are looking for. And that really is 
trying to make the game a bit more enjoyable, a bit easier to play, and that means a bit more forgiving, a bit more assist in launch, all those kind of things, ball speeds across the face. It does all those kind of things in abundance, I feel anyway. So uh, like I said, hard to be critical as ever. Probably asked already in that uh, video that was shot. Again, I'll mention again, pre-lockdown, that was all filmed in December, so uh, none of us are playing golf right now. Um, but I don't know whether I did ask for comments back then, but if uh, please put them in the bottom there, hit that like button, subscribe if you don't already. And that's another one done. I will see you on Wednesday night.